Hi, I'm here again today with David Fox, a professional footballer. We've talked so far about in, in the early videos about your grassroots time and then your early routes into kind of stepping up through the elite onto the semi-pro levels. And I thought today it'd be great to talk about your experiences with Man United, partly because I'm a United fan. <laughs> and I'm miserable about that at the moment. Uh, so yeah, cheer me up about the happy days. Yeah. So yeah, your, your experiences. So let, let's, let's start off with the actual facts. But then when did you get signed and when did you first start to train with United? Well, um, initially I was, when I was down in, in Exeter, the chief scout had a holiday home down in Devon. So he'd come and watched a, a couple of games of mine and, and liked what he saw and said, do I fancy coming up in the holidays? Um, and training, there was, they used to bring in players from all over in the school holidays, you know, Ireland, Scotland, all over England, we used to go stay in a hotel and we, we basically were on trial. Um, so I remember doing that probably about five or six times, I'd say, in certain holidays over over 18 months spell. Each time they'd like what they saw, I'd come back and then I'd play a few games, maybe at a weekend. Um, and then ultimately with about sort of December before I left school, uh, they offered me a, a YT contract, a youth team contract um, for three years. Uh, so I had the decision to make, do I go there or do I go to Arsenal? Um, so I chose Man United. Um, I, I, obviously the club club was massive, they were they just won the treble. So I, yeah, and I enjoyed my time up there, I enjoyed the lads. Uh, that was up there, so I thought it, it was for me. I wanted to be back up north. I didn't know if London was for me, so uh, went went up there. And as I left school, I signed first of July as a 16-year-old. How did that feel? It felt unbelievable. Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, it was daunting. They just moved to the new training complex, so I, didn't, I never got to experience the old yeah, the school, cliff. the cliff. Yeah. Um, which there was obviously hundreds and hundreds of stories of things that was going on there. I, I, we were different. We I went to, to the, to, they'd moved, been in the new, in Carrington for three or four months, so yeah, it was, it was eye-opening, it was, it was um, unbelievable, it was, it was very tough, it was daunting, but oh yeah, it was, it was, I was at the best club in the world and, and I was ready to, to start trying to, trying to make it there. What was your, do you remember your first day there, almost walking in and when you, you signed the contract, your first day arriving at United for training, do you remember that? I remember my first session, because it was pre-season, I remember it being baking hot, really hot, and I think we did 1,000 metre runs, I think, we did about five or six of them, I remember, and Neil Bailey, my, my youth team manager, he set the pace, and he was a, he was a, a player himself, he was a small, stocky guy, and he was just a barrel of power and I just remember trying to, my dad always used to get to the front, get to the front, whenever's running go to the front, don't be one of the ones at the back, always be at the front and so I was determined to try and get to the front and I just remember running around the field and, and rest and back and it was pre-season so it was tough, you got your sort of, into, you, you got a little package from Umbro, you got some boots and some trainers and, and you got a tracksuit, just every YT got them all over the country. I remember thinking like, oh my God, I've got a pair of boots, like, this is unbelievable, I've got some free Umbro specialities here. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they're the sort of the really early memories of it. Um, and yeah, and then not long after that, we went over to Ireland to do, to do the Milk Cup, oh, yeah, which is yeah. a big, obviously a big tradition, massive tournament, United have got huge history there. And we went over there and, and that's sort of the earliest sort of memories I've got of my, my first sort of summer at the club. Uh, who, were, who were your personnel around you there at that stage? And you mentioned um, the manager and, and the other coaches and the, the fellow players in your team then. Who do you remember from that time? We had the under-17s and the under-19s. So that was spread over three age groups. So you had the first years, second years, third years. And we all sort of trained together at the start. So there was a big, big squad of players. And then there was Neil Bailey that was under-17s manager and Dave Williams, under-19 manager. Um, so they, they, so really the first, we only the first years played under 17, so that was our own sort of team, but at the start we all trained together, so you're talking players, Danny Webber was one of the older players, Michael Rose had a, a great career, and then the, the year below, Danny Nardiello, Danny Pugh, Alan Tate, you know, I'm missing, I'm missing loads of players, so you, you're, you're in your first sort of week or so of, of training, couple of weeks, you're trying to 
impress your age group. But you're playing with you're playing with lads two or three years older than you, and they these are top top players. They're big, good players. And I remember thinking the standard was was very very good um, so from a lot of players. And and then as the season sort of spreads, you sort of split up and you go into your team. But yeah, we, there, were, there was there was eight of us in our age group. Um, so there was myself. Uh, Darren Fletcher, obviously, he's probably the biggest name out of everyone. Um, went on, you know, un- unbelievable career he's had, and a top, top player for United. And then there was Chris Taylor, who would, went on to have a, a good career um, in the football league. And then there's a few lads that, that, that didn't make it and dropped out. So you still sp- uh, keep in touch with a lot of the boys. And but that initial sort of period, you're, there was a lot of lot of players around and. Yeah. You were like, wow, this is this is some route I'm gonna to have to get take yeah, to, to get to get to the top. So you mentioned how hard the physical they kinda of hit you with that and you're like, okay, these are the standards. Did you what did you feel like internally about the technical expectations? Did you feel I can do this, I'm up with this, with some players beyond or equal with their technique? What did it feel like to train with those Man United players? Did you feel you belonged there? Um I d I wouldn't have thought I belonged. I always felt like I, I had to work really hard, and I always, I always gave everything. Um, but I think a lot of the, a lot of the principles, you know, I, I, a lot of the reasons that I, I stayed in the game for so long was the things I picked up from a really early age at Man United. The, the, the initial year or two I had there laid the foundations for to have a career. Oh, absolutely, the. the the technical side of things, the constant technical aspects of the game was every day. Ball technique, Neil Bailey's favourite, ball technique every day, receiving the ball. Do it every day, you get bored, but every single day. Right. Now, when, when the ball comes into me, I turn out, I don't even think about it. But that's from the every day doing, repetition, receiving the ball, repetition. receiving the yeah. ball, inside, outside, receiving the ball outside foot, receiving the ball, turning, you do it every day. And he, that'd be his warm up, half an hour, you just receive balls all the time, half an hour. And I, you know, that, I still do the same inside, outside. To, uh, it's just, I can do that with my eyes closed. It's, it, but that was from a real early age. And then we'd have ladders, fast feet. He, he was big on that. These are all things that come into the game a bit later, but I, I feel like the, the initial Sort of my time under Neil and Dave, them, them three years I spent as, as a YT and a professional, they, they laid the foundations absolutely for, for me. I was, I was known as a, a good technical player. That was what my strengths were, and I think that was from right, the, those certainly days. Those, those early sessions and those key things they were putting into you from, from an early age.